What's going on boys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you're joining me for the first time. My name is Ruri, uh, and on this channel we talk about cars, we drift cars, we play games about cars, every, anything about cars really. But anyway, in today's video we are going to be installing a custom steering wheel on my G920. Uh, this is the steering wheel right here. Uh, this steering wheel came out of my BMW E36, so it has some... Uh, sentimental value because this is the first steering wheel I ever actually that was ever actually in one of my drift cars. Uh, so this steering wheel is now retired, and I thought, what better way but to put it on the G920, uh, and it can be immortal on the channel forever. Why not? <laughs> so yeah, today we're going to be taking off the standard steering wheel and replacing it with that one I just showed you. Uh, and I, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing. As you can see, it's here on the Wheelstand Pro, so we've got a nice setup to work on it today. But we're going to start by taking out these six bolts. Uh, yeah. The safety first when you're doing this, guys. Make sure it's not plugged in. I mean, it's, that's kind of simple. Just make sure it's not plugged in. There's no electricity going for it, because we are going to be fucking about with circuit boards. Uh, and I can't stress, I don't know what I'm doing. But I do know you shouldn't have it plugged in. <laughs> and so you do need a 4mm Allen wrench for this, 4mm, if the camera will focus, it's not going to focus is it? This is a 4mm Allen wrench, I promise, and we're going to take out these 6 screws. Now these aren't very tight, so you can just hold the wheel and start spinning. Once you take those out, that little disc will come off. Okay, so now that they're off, we have to take off uh, four screws in the back. I think it's four, could be more. Okay, so once you've taken the, the six screws off the front, there is a couple of screws in the back. This one here, this one here, and then the same on the other side of the control. And I think these are just like four of these little things. Uh, so we're going to whip them out right now. I'm going to put the camera down because I don't have anywhere to put it. But yeah, it can be more simple. Okay, so there is also one other screw under behind the X button that you need to take off. Uh, and just a word of warning guys, these screws are absolutely tiny. I lost one, I luckily found it after a little while of looking, but here they are, they're absolutely tiny. Just like to give you an idea of scale, that, that is the center cap for the wheel. Uh, yeah, that's how small these screws are. Uh, and that's the screws that go into the center cap. So yeah, they're uh, they're pretty bloody small. So just when you're doing this, just take care of those screws. Anyway, now you've got all the screws out, uh, the wheel is ready to come off. So just rip it off. There's a plug down the back that you need to unplug and be very careful about it. So if we just take that off, see? Right, you see that? Right, that, that little plug there, we need to take that out. So yeah guys, it turned out you did just have to pull it, you maybe have to squeeze it a little bit and pull it. It was just a bit awkward to do with the camera in one hand uh, and doing it one handed, but yeah. So this is the wheel, we have it off now. <laughs> and this is the bit that scares me. We have to take out these tiny little silver screws. I'm sure this is why you have to do it, I'm going to double check that. Uh, you need to take out so many screws. Uh, you also need to take off these buttons. These are the these buttons. You take them out uh, so that we can take this plastic bit off of the wheel and transfer it and put it back on the, this bit of the case. And then the adapter goes on top of this. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do that just now. Okay, so we have the circuit board off the back of the wheel. Next thing we have to do is we need to remove these screws holding on the RSB and the LSB buttons, so there's one, two, three and four there. Uh, now, little tip for taking this off, the screws are small and there is a few uh, holes in this circuit board that aren't don't have anything in them. So as a reminder of where the holes were that the screws went into, you can see them like here for example if it'll focus yeah like the screw goes into the bottom hole there and not the top one uh, 
I don't know why those holes are there, but just a good little idea to take a picture and then you can always look back to see exactly where those screws went. So I'm going to remove these screws now, uh, get these buttons off, and then I think it's just a matter of this coming off and going on to the, the other bit of the wheel. Okay, I've officially removed everything from the wheel uh, and I'm also officially freaking the hell out because we are left with loads of bit of plastic, loads of bit of plastic, all the buttons, lots of screws. Uh, yeah, this it's kind of terrifying, <laughs> uh, but we'll get through it. I'm going to put this back together because I think that's what we do now, and then I will show you <laughs> what I've done. Okay, so the first thing I done was reattach these buttons, the start, select, RSB and LSB buttons. Uh, first thing I done was reattach them, put this back on, uh, and now we're going to put the circuit board back on this using the screws that we take out of it. So this is where I'll refer back to my picture to see exactly what holes the screws went back in, so that I know I'm not doing it wrong. Okay, this is officially back together, um, and I feel ten times better, because everything is normal. All the buttons work, they all switchy switchy and stuff. Uh, so that's good. Uh, so now it's time that we put this back on the wheel uh, and we start reassembly. Thank God. <laughs> okay, so once you have put all the screws back in the back of the wheel, this is what you should be left with. Just the buttons on the wheel like they normally would be. That doesn't sound good. Maybe that's not screwed in properly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's what you should be left with. Uh, all that, just how it should be. Nice in all the right places. Uh, and now, it's time for the fun bit. Because now we get to put the big wheel on here. So, this is what we've got. So this is what we have. Uh, with this handy dandy little 3D printed fake carbon fibre uh, adapter which goes on the wheel like show so you see these little notches they line up just like that hopefully maybe yep okay well we'll get it on <laughs> uh, this might need some cleaning up because it's not the best 3d printing job in the world but yeah that goes on there and then i will show you where i'm at Okay guys, I'm not going to lie, this is not five minutes later. <laughs> this adapter, I'm not going to lie, is pretty fucking shit. In fact, so shit that I can't even get all the screws in. This screw will not go in. Uh, but it is on there, it's fucking tight. It looks pretty true, so... We're going to try and get the wheel on top of it now, <laughs> which is probably going to be a mission in itself. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, because so, basically, wheel on there, like that. I've got screws here, put screw there, and in there. Uh, pretty much like bolting on a wheel in the car, so I'm going to do that quickly, and then I'll show you the guys. So, much like uh, the screws going into the actual steering wheel itself, the steering wheel would not screw on because the holes are too small. I managed to get three in. Uh, and it's enough to hold it on, definitely, uh, and it's going to work. Uh, but I'm going to look for another hub because that uh, that was shit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that was a crap hub. Uh, I'm not surprised, it was a tenner off eBay. Uh, but we'll do for now uh, until I get a new hub through it and can change it. But so, so here's what it looks like. <laughs> uh, yeah, big wheel. You can see I've only got one, two, three, ho three uh, screws holding it on. But yeah, it works. It's going to work for what I need it right now. I'm going to keep all the other screws safe. See, it's pretty on there, like it's not coming off. Uh, but I'm going to keep the other screws and stuff safe uh, until I get a new adapter -y hub thingy uh, to hold a wheel on because this one is. Shit. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it actually stripped out three of these uh, little Allen heads. I actually stripped them because the holes were too small to actually put them in and just get tighter. And I mean, those things are shit going into a car, never mind a like 
plastic 3D printed thing. Uh, so yeah, it can be kind of a fail, kind of a successful install. It's installed and it's going to work, but it's not perfect. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, as you can see, can still use the buttons to an extent. Uh, some of the, I mean, you can still get to all the buttons. Just a bit awkward. Uh, let me see. Uh, the D-pad is a bit, a bit strange. But we can hit them. Uh, obviously, these are going to be really far away. But I don't use them anyway, unless it's handbrake on Forza. But even then, I can get over that. Uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to set this up and we can have a go maybe on Horizon, I think. I'm definitely, I'm really digging Horizon right now. So I think I'm going to yeah, get this set up and uh, we'll switch over to the PC now. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, we are on Horizon 4 and we're going to be ripping this little uh, S13 down the toge with the new wheel. Uh, or it's you know, it's like, also I got my handbrake. Also I got my handbrake working, so that's awesome. Uh, my handbrake, my my handbrake. <laughs> but yeah, we got that working. Uh, and we're gonna be ripping it down the tailgate. It's gonna be awesome. Wait, the wheel right now feels amazing. Actually, it's uh, might need to turn the feedback up a little bit. It's definitely sucked some of the feedback out of the big wheel. You definitely feel a bit less, but. Out. It's a it's a small compromise compared to the actual feel it's given me. It does feel more like a real car, even though it's a small. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to stop talking shit. I'm going to rip this S13 down the hole. See how we get on. It's also just been raining, so it's a little bit uh, damp right now. Oh dear. Oh, well, well, okay, well, we screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, it's good going. This is a low powered car, uh, I prefer to from low powered cars in this game, it just kind of feels better. Uh, but we should manage. It's starting to dry up now, it's got some tire smoke, the handbrake. It's quite flat. Yeah, that feels pretty cool. I actually can't get over just how good Horizon 3 feels now. Uh, Horizon 4, sorry. Uh, considering I just could not get the hang of any of the other forces. But Horizon 4, for some reason, I just really like it. Uh, I'm bringing it over here. Drift out a second. Clutch quick. Oh, we spun it. Keep going around. We tap there. But I fail. <laughs> there we go. Up to club again. Oh, the dog's very one. Oh, we're off here. Draft foot. Quite cool. Oh, yes. It's definitely something I'm going to need to get used to. First impression was that it felt fucking huge. We can always try a smaller rim, this thing. I actually put it against the rim in the GT86 and it's the exact same size. Uh, so, we do know it's a full size wheel. It might be worth trying a smaller wheel. Even because then it'll give me a more realistic feel, but it'll also be smaller. I mean, I'll have to run, run less for feedback, which will. And then save my wheel for a little bit longer. I'm on the light, they have some barrier, it's fine. Uh, I don't know, we'll try this, see if we get used to it. Uh, if we don't, I do have your to to it, so not I do have another pool there that I could use. Uh, which came in the Nissan uh, the S14. And it is smaller. Quite a lot smaller actually than this run. Uh, it's also leather, which would be nice. I just thought this wheel would be a bit easier to look at. And because, yeah, it was the first wheel I drifted with, so I wanted something special. Oh, right. But we could definitely try different things uh, and see what I'm most comfortable with. 
And realistically, I'd love to get like a Nardi on it, but that's never going to happen. I will never been able to afford the one Nardi, and that's the Nardi soon when it is in the Castle team currently. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we are on Horizon 4, and we're going to be ripping this little uh, S13 down the toge with the new wheel. Uh, and just all what it's like. Also, I got my handbrake. Also, I got my handbrake working, so that's awesome. Uh, my handbrake, my my handbrake. <laughs> but yeah, we got that working, uh, and we're going to be ripping it down the toge. It's going to be awesome. Wait, the wheel right now feels amazing. Actually, it's uh, might need to turn the feedback up a little bit. It's definitely suck some of the feedback out of the big wheel and definitely feel a bit less, but it's a, it's a small compromise compared to the actual feel it's given you. It does feel more like a real car, even though it's a small one. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to stop talking shit and I'm going to rip this S13 down the hole. See how we get on. It's also just been raining, so it's a little bit uh, damp right now. Oh, dear. Oh. Well, okay, well we screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, it's good good. This is a low powered car. Uh, I prefer to from low powered cars in this game. It just kind of feels better. Uh, but we should manage. It's starting to dry up now. It's got some tire smoke. The handbrake. It's quite flat. Yeah, that feels pretty cool. I actually can't get over just how good Horizon 3 feels now. Uh, Horizon 4, sorry. Uh, considering I just could not get the hang of any of the other forces. But Horizon 4, for some reason, I just really like it. Uh, I'm bringing it over here. Drift out a second. Clutch quick. Oh, we spun it. Keep going around. We tap there. Oh, fail. <laughs> there we go, off the club again. I think the dog's very well. Ooh, we're off road in here. We're off road. Quite cool. Oh, yes. It's definitely something I'm going to need to get used to. First impression was that I felt fucking huge. We can always try a smaller rim, this thing. I actually put it against the rim in the GT86 and it's the exact same size. Uh, so, we do know it's a full size wheel. It might be worth trying a smaller wheel. Even because then it'll give me a more realistic feel, but it'll also be smaller. I mean, I'll have to run, run less for feedback, which will. And then save my wheel for a little bit longer. I'm on the light, they have some barrier, it's fine. Uh, I don't know, we'll try this, see if we get used to it. Uh, if we don't, I do have. I do have another wheel there that I could use, uh, which came in the Nissan, uh, the S14. And it is smaller. Quite a lot smaller actually than this run. Uh, it's also leather, which would be nice. I just thought this wheel would be a bit easier to look at. And because yeah, it was the first wheel I drifted with, so I wanted something special. Oh, right. But we could definitely try different things uh, and see what I'm most comfortable with. I mean, realistically, I'd love to get like a Nardi on it, but that's never going to happen. But yeah, guys, it definitely feels awesome, uh, the big pool. It definitely helps to have the handbrake now as well, uh, since, you know, it's a bit more of a, a struggle to reach the buttons on the wheel now. Uh, so the handbrake comes well and truly handy. The handbrake well and truly is handy. To have there, uh, and to have a you know, it may not be an actual handbrake, but it works the same way and it feels the same way, sort of. Uh, but yeah, no, it's awesome. 
pool feels awesome as I say. Oh, a bit big. Try something smaller in the future if we like, if we think. If I, if I want to. Uh, but yeah, no, this is a uh, pretty sick. The rig is definitely starting to come together like I've always wanted it to. Uh, so I really hope you guys are enjoying these gaming videos. I'm really enjoying making them. Uh, I'm really enjoying playing them as well, obviously, with the new uh, steering wheel mods and everything. Oh Jesus, what's going on here? Right, let's keep going that way. There we go, straight back up. Right. Oh, that's... I keep... Right, let's go this way. video comes out we should I should be going drifting over the next couple of days uh, so that video will be coming very soon uh, yeah uh, anyone wants to come for the steering wheel uh, yeah we have the uh, we have the shifter install well the shifter mod where we're going to be putting an actual proper shifter on this um, I just it's basically just a little adapter, but I'll make a video nonetheless so you guys can see the process just in case any of you ever try to do it. Uh, just ripping the ah. I don't think it'll be as a long as long as install as this video will have been because also I want to test this one. Uh, whereas it's just a shift <laughs> it's kinda of just like a shift knob so uh, it'll probably just be a quick video install on it, just to show you guys the process. Uh, I don't think I'll be testing that out. Chickens! <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, it would mean a lot to me if you hit the like button, subscribe, all that great stuff. Um, yeah, I'll awesome. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we're rewinding. Okay. That's not what I thought I was going to do. Sure. Oh, there you get to re see my spin again. Anyway, guys, yeah, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Hit the like button. I'm going drifting in the next couple of days, so you'll see that video very soon, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Bye, guys.